Yo, 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 this episode is brought to you by the Spring Cleaning Champions, Manscaped. This season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes with the leaders in below-the-waist grooming. Clear out that winter bush with Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 and watch your confidence bloom like springtime flowers. Their fifth generation trimmer features two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new file blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. It also features dual LED spotlights to guide you through the darkest winter debris. You can take this thing wherever you want thanks to its compact case. You can use this thing wherever you want to because this bad boy is waterproof. Spring cleaning doesn't just apply to the nether regions. Get the full grooming experience with Manscaped Signature Beard Hatcher Pro Kit plus Handyman Electric Face Shaver. Manscaped is always the right tool for the job. Get 20% off free shipping with the code GREEROOM at manscaped.com. Let's get into the episode. Will you just shut the fuck up for a minute? You do have a gambling problem, then. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. no, but I have a gambling solution. Win. Wow, wow, oh. G- Jamie, come on. <laughs> no, hang on, he's the victim. I, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Let me fuck me. <laughs> That's a long fucking shower, that. You've made up for being dismissive. <laughs> <laughs> I am the nerdy girl who gets fucked by the job. <laughs> <laughs> but in an accident that was his fault, so that he didn't get any compensation. I was joking. I, I'm not... <laughs> oh. Did parlance come from you as well? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shots fired, baby. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I was on last night in a, in a black stock. It was boss, very really good, very really good. Mm. Enjoy myself. It's good room, that you know. How many times have you done it? Four or three, four. Fucking yeah. hell. Yeah, do you call me to have the last minute sub? It maintains the intensity of a two hundred seater, but it's Six times hundred. three. Yeah, it's the same as downstairs. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. Like yeah. I just, in, I was yeah, like, yeah. It's not yeah. like six. It's vacuous. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's. On your knees still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So good. Are we recording here? Yes, we are. Oh, keep yeah, it on. We're starting. Oh, we'll kill yeah. some time. Could you put your mic a little bit closer to you for me, though, please? Wow. Spot on. Is that all right? Don't speak to a guest I mean, like that of this calibre. Hang on, we're recording already. Thing. That was so polite. You don't right. speak to, don't <laughs> speak to a guest <laughs> like that. Mate. Keep all the same. Okay, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> are we, have we started? Have on no, guard. We haven't yeah. started. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, let's just do an intro, though, yeah? Oh, we'll do an intro, okay. but I mean, keep the pre-intro in. Oh, well, that's, I, that's I, good. We've had some comments about like, we like the, the off-camera stuff. Because it feels natural. Yeah. It, feels, yeah. it doesn't feel like you're faking anything. Hello, yeah. welcome to Hot Water Screaming <laughs> Podcast with me, Tony Carroll. Hey, Tony, great to be back. Jamie Hutchinson here, co-pilot. And today we have a special guest, Jamie. Who very, is this? very special. So glad he's come here. Oh, oh, I'm not buying into this bullshit. <laughs> 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 he knows us too well. My Lord McCabe, everyone. My Lord McCabe, everyone. AKA Troy Hawk, AKA Fulberto. Oh my God, side. he's dead. Oh. He's dead. He's dead. Do you know, I'll love, I'll tell you, he loves bringing that up every time I see him. Yeah. He's Danny Mac. Oh, does he, yeah? Fulberto. <laughs> yeah, fucking time, yeah. But for, so, for the uninitiated. All right, so for the uninitiated, um, I did this character called Filberto, who was a Portuguese reality TV show winner who decided to become a stand-up in the UK. And, yeah, so basically when I started, I'd go to clubs and I'd do that. And uh, it kind of worked. But what would happen is all the idiosyncrasies of the character and the things that made it different were shaved off because of what I had to do in weekend rooms like Jonglers. Oh, yeah, yeah. So in the end, it devolved to just me being <laughs> shouting in a quasi indeterminable foreign accent. Right. <laughs> um, and, he- and here's the thing, it would still work. Yeah, like it would, People would still like it, it, but I didn't have any respect. Yeah, and then yeah. it wasn't till one comic said to me, this is shit, right? And I'm like, but it works. Who he goes, that to you? Nick Doody. Did oh, me the did biggest favor in the world, and and he said it to me because he liked me and he respected me. Because wow. if he if he hadn't, he wouldn't have. But he took a real risk and he went, 
why are you doing it? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't really have an answer. I was like, it works. Yeah, but do you get a lot out of it? Would you laugh at it? And when you get asked a question like that, you can't answer. You have to go away and you have to, and I'm, I'm just sort of going, fuck, I wouldn't. Yeah, and that yeah. was when I started thinking, I've got to change things up here. So I switched to Troy Hawk, but I was booked as Filberto. So I just show up and I go, I'm going to do something else. Is that a Blackburn? Huh? Was that a Blackburn? Um, it was, was loads of places. No, when you, when you first try out performances. Because um, I was at, I think it was when you were just blowing up, I was doing the club night at Darwin or Blackburn yeah. for Tony. And I think we just got on to because it was when you first started blowing up and stuff. And she went, yeah, he did it first there and we booked him as Philberto. And he went, oh, I'm doing this thing called Troy Hawk. Yeah. And there was like panic stations. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You see oh, I lost loads of work because it wasn't yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, I lost loads of work. I was in at the store and then I wasn't in at the store. So you had to start So again, I had to basically. start again at the Fuck store, yeah. and I did a tenor's Probably choice, and I didn't get through. Yeah. Didn't get past. So I had to do a couple more tens. Um, but I occupy this strange corner of comedy, whatever, Pantheon. I mean, I think I'm the only person to get two separate creations in weekending at the store. So someone's gone as a character in them, yeah. but nobody's gone as two separate characters. Oh, what about it's my own peculiar little <laughs> postage stamp that I'm <laughs> fucking occupying. With like no, I don't oh, think he did weekends, no, because he uh, kind of just, just flew. Blew up at yeah. Right. yeah, man. That's mad, that, isn't it? Have you ever done it yourself? I remember when I first met you, and um, it was some, I think it was a Rob Riley gig, and I'd missed your set, and I perceived you as being dismissive uh, but I think you weren't. I think you were just a bit shy because you do have that sort of slight shy side to you yeah. that many people probably aren't aware of. But I remember, I remember looking at you and, and just getting your attitude. And you know when you meet someone, you go, they're either brilliant or deluded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when you meet a new comic or someone you've never yeah, seen before, yeah. and I went, he's brilliant or deluded. And, and here uh, you are, top knows? of the <laughs> game. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, where was that? I, that's interesting. I, I'm always remember, on, I'm uh, obsessed with people's first opinions of me. Yeah. I get I, like I, a bit. I got yeah. dismissive. I got yeah, that you were dismissive. But me. I've met you since, and I know it's not that. Yeah, it, I'm a well, bit, it might have been that. I don't I'm know. Very, you, I, we have comments on here sometimes. If you we, if we have a guest on who I've not met before, I'm really like, yeah, I hold my wrist yeah. and I don't like. What is it, anxiety or something? Yeah, what I just don't. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm even like uh, in the pub. Oh God, this is. No, go on. This is. <laughs> go on. <laughs> go on. Go on. <laughs> this is a very different hot water agreement. Yeah. I'm <laughs> this is so hot. Come on, get it out. No, I mean, I fancy me more than a shot. <laughs> uh, even in, in the pub and stuff, I really shrink into the background. Uh -huh. I don't like being. I don't like even offering a joke out as banter because people think I'm trying to add. Yeah. I just proper shrink yeah. it to myself. But but did I did you used to try, sorry yes, to sorry, interrupt, but did you used to try too hard before you did stand up? I, the thing, I have this big anxiety where I'm in a relationship now. My biggest worry is that we have to get married because. <laughs> <laughs> That's your biggest worry. <laughs> out of all the possible worries you could have, like yeah. World War Three. <coughs> Anything. Oh, I'll I'll go Kiev now, mate. I'll go to Tehran. Why are you worried about getting married? I'll go to I'll go to Tehran. I me, believe me. you. Uh, <laughs> fucking Palestine away, lad. What? Get the badge in. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I get worried because I have loads of friendship groups where I'm one or two one or two small. There's, there's, I don't have a big group of lads. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a mate from who we used to work with there. A mate from school there. Oh. And I have I have a completely different personality. I know where you're going. Yeah, so there's a million different Jamies for yeah. each of those different people. Because and your wedding, they all have to come together and oh, you've yeah. got to fucking be, be all of them at the same because time. Because to, to these two, yeah. I, I'm the piss can fuck yeah, up. Yeah. To them two, I'm the smart one. Yeah. Think how thick they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm the mature one. I have so many different personalities yeah. because I just adapt to what the group needs. Yep. So you're and just it, living a lie then? I don't know where my Who's the real Jamie? I don't know where I am. No, no, what you are is a low self monitor, and I'm yeah. exactly the same. So you get high self monitors and low self monitors. Yeah. So you're a high self monitor, right? What's that mean? So a low self monitor is someone who's sort of uh, social plasticity and they're very malleable and they will sort of change to suit their environment, yeah. right? Um, 
uh, and and it's people who will just adapt and and then you've got high self monitors who are people who are sort of more principled they have a stronger sort of core identity and they're yeah, more yeah, the yeah. same in every yeah. environment I see I'm the yeah, same yeah. as you like yeah. sometimes even to the point I'll find myself taking on people's accents surreptitiously like beyond my awareness if yeah, I, sort of I spend I, too I much pick time up uh, phrases from you don't yeah I? you do yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I, I say that as my parlance sometimes yeah, 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 so yeah, I mean yeah. I don't know if it's just... The parlance come from you as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Marcel Lucon in here last week. <laughs> no, I, I just know the thick group are watching this. Right, so. yeah. So you got to be smart, Jamie. <laughs> for intelligence. No, but it's, it's weird. When you've been a certain... <coughs> when you get used to being a certain way, and you see, when, when you've got a... Uh, when you deal with somebody, um, you, you're not only dealing with who you are with them, you're dealing with who they think you yeah, are yeah, as yeah. well so you you're actually a slightly different version of yourself with everyone but if that's radically different with all your different tiny isolated friendship groups who you consciously keep apart i completely understand yeah, where you're terrified the the idea idea yeah. where I, as i say i'm the total opposite of me I, I have like the core models and stick by them with everyone and if you don't like me i don't care like it's yeah. like that's that's but kind do of you healthy. really not care no honestly i really don't care <laughs> do you uh, do my you catchphrase really is not care. think I'm arsed. Like, do you I, really not I, care? I of course care. you care. I don't. I care of course you care. Otherwise you'd be walking around like covered in shit and screaming Yeah, okay, at yeah. So, yeah, you, I, yeah. But I've got models, so it's yeah. I keep up to their models. But you care you know what, what mean? people think Of course about you care what people think, yeah. 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 Yeah, well, I'm, I don't. I'm, I'm really, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, so, and it's now giving me anxiety that I was dismissive of you, dismissive of you. No, but that's what I was saying, because I, I, that's why I was like, I know now that you weren't, but isn't it scary sometimes that that's how it can come across? To certain people, yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's there because that's me projecting onto you. That's me maybe feeling a bit insecure, thinking, oh, that cunt's mugging me off. And you're not. You're just maybe just thinking about something. Your yeah, eyes have glazed yeah. over slightly. <coughs> All I was saying before yeah. was, is with Jamie as well. Like, I wasn't here, say it again. <laughs> Where with Jamie, with all people see him on the podcast and stuff, and obviously the and, and the stand up is very high en high energy. Yeah. When I'm in the pub with him, just me and him, we're just like, oh, I know him. Mm. People will come over and stuff and recognise him, and, and they get a little bit thinky because Jamie's very timid and shy, kind mm. of thing. Off, yeah. you know, aren't you? To be fair, and like they expect him to be like, Whoa, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's like, but also it's an awkward situation to be recognised because yeah. you have to sort of. There's two stories, isn't there? You're either a legend or a dickhead, yeah, 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 and yeah, you've yeah. sort of. Got to give somebody 100% for 30 seconds, and it's fine. It's the it's, first it's time they've met you that day, but yeah. it's the 10th time you've been asked for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, and it, and it's cool. Like, I, I don't, I, to be honest, I don't get it much. Like, people don't really recognise me out of character. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then when I am in character, it's it's easy. It's just yeah, like work. You're just, yeah, it's yeah. Work. You're just yeah, in yeah. that mode. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. But, but when I'm recognised out of character, there's a slight thing where I'm sort of a bit at odds. I'm kind of not in performance mode. And I'm not how I'm gonna be perceived. Do you ever do you ever get? Because I I started off doing a character, mm -hmm. so and I the reason why I done it was because I was scared to do stand up yeah. myself. So yeah. I was hiding behind it. So yeah. if it died, I'd go like, oh, it's not me, it's the character. Yeah, do yeah. you ever get? Do you ever feel like that? Like, no, no, like when I when I started, I was me. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And I was so yeah, you had dreadful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like I got what away was your with. Style? Oh, it was f just. I don't, I don't think I had Did one. You do high status? Desperation. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, <Desperation>. desperation. <laughs> like I didn't have a fucking <coughs> clue what I was doing. Yeah. I got picked up by this big agent, like it really early doors. I got thrown immediately into. You also had good chops then. To get I, picked up. I, I, I think I was just confident yeah, and, yeah. and loud. And when this this agent, because I used to book gigs, um, so I talked to this agent all the time, and she sort of said, oh, "Why don't you do a gig?" And it was like a bucket. I was like, "Yeah, I'll try one gig. Yeah, fuck it." So I did this gig, and and basically I couldn't give a shit. Yeah, it was just I I, I didn't have nerves because it didn't matter. Mm, yeah. And so I did this gig, and I think I got laughs ticking around for about a minute, and then I died for four. But I came off, and I was just like, "Oh great, that's done that." And this agent came up and went, "That oh, was shit. You fucking move." And I'm suddenly like, and she goes, "But we're gonna represent you." And I was like, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> exactly. So it was almost like she decided I was going to be this a comic. Kid, this kid's got potential. And I just yeah, went, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. in lieu of anything else, fuck it, I'll do it. But she threw me in with all these clubs and these sets. I wasn't ready. It was a real baptism of weather. That is fucking... So I had to sort of construct this set. And yeah, it was just bullshit, man. Yeah, I, d I yeah. don't even know if I'd ever say I had a style other yeah. than desperation. Yeah, I did. Uh, and I then, so, sorry. No, no, go on. I was just going to say, <laughs> hooking back to the, the, the question, um, uh, my agent just out of nowhere goes, why don't you try doing a character? 
And I went, yeah. And I did this. I did this character, this Roberta character, and something clicked. And it just, I suddenly I was like, oh fuck, this is it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But the weird thing is, is I was probably less authentic as me than I ever have been as a character. Yeah. So you still so getting your seen. voice out. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And and like, there's so much of my mum. And my, my daughter's in Troy as there's well. There's so much of you in Troy, though, as well. A there's, a lot, there. there's a lot but of you in The kind of stuff yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be comfortable saying or, yeah, yeah. or doing, yeah. I can sort of s- filter out through this character. It's weird, because when you do watch Troy, and obviously it's become more spot to see it's blew up and stuff, and when, when you see the reels and what you've done and the kinds of people that you've you know, you've been with and stuff and the, the football teams and you watch the clips, yeah, you look, I look at it and it's you. It's, 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 it is very similar. Like, you know, but that, yeah. that is a disservice to watch it live. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. You have to see it live. I I really implore you to see it live. It's unbelievable. You've made up for being dismissive. (laughs) (laughs) If anything, you're going too far the other way. When I started out, I used to change personas because I came up with a different bit. So I I, I started off like Simon Lomas, deadpan behind the mic. And then I came up with this bit and I thought, oh, I have to be a football hooligan for that bit. (laughs) So I used to go on as a football hooligan. Um, and when that didn't work, it was similar to you. You're like, you just you you playing the persona, yeah, persona, yeah, yeah. Yourself, yeah. So yeah. what was your character then? Well, it was a, it was it was a, a, a man who used to suffer from domestic violence, but it wasn't it <coughs> a was, man who is from domestic no, violence. No, suffered, suffered from domestic well, violence, but it, oh, it, oh, right, so right. I was making out it was domestic violence, but it was just silly things that she was doing, and I was making a big deal about them. Right, so you being it was very edgy. It was a very. Victim. Like, yeah, a victim, yeah. yeah. But yeah. like, I'd say like she maybe beans on toast with one piece of toast, and like have a sense of pride and stuff. Right, right. So <laughs> just, yeah, it, yeah, used to, right, yeah, yeah, used to be good. Like, used to be, yeah. used to be good. But. Yeah, yeah. I was, so ma- I was made when I bent that off. I, I just done myself. You know what I mean? I, I felt a big relief because I just kept hiding behind the character and stuff like that. So yeah, just doing straight stand up. It was scary, but once I done it, I like now, now that I've been back into it again, I just it's just what it's just all stories that I've been through. Or you yeah. know, I'm putting on. Obviously, you put a drink on at the end, but whatever. But it's most of real life stuff so it's yeah. it's me just like telling stories that you'd say with you in front of your mates it's great like it's stuff that only you could say yeah as exactly well. yeah no one else could do what yeah. I do yeah and so, any so. any time like I don't know if you go, you do this if like your mate's got an hour and you listen to it whatever it's always the same thing it's like the, my favourite jokes are theirs almost universally is stuff that only they could say, say yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like they, it's there's something really about that that I think uh, connects with a crowd well, that's why my favourite actor at the minute I'm not saying because he's been tall sport he's Bosniak Oh. Because when he's I've having for ages. when he's having a breakdown, it's so authentic and it's just he is depressed. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> Like yeah, he's yeah. saying this yeah, yeah. genuinely. And everyone's just laughing more. He's like, stop laughing. Like, <laughs> I fucking hate me life. Yeah, it's just and it, yeah. So have, have you seen Phil Ellis have a breakdown? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's so That's funny because he he he's and sometimes he's <coughs> genuinely furious. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but it's still it's so, so funny, overtly yeah. fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's not. He's even now pissed off that they're laughing. Yeah, yeah. And they're laughing yeah. even harder. He's, com- he's commentating how shit the gig is. Yeah. Yeah. and he means it. Like, yeah, oh, he yeah. sort of means yeah. it. He but fucking. But like, he, he, he don't carry the authority. Like we don't care. We, yeah. We're yeah. glad you're going through this. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sort of pipe cleaner limbs. Of <laughs> <laughs> God, I, I remember him like genuine with absolute venom. We had this horrible daytime show in Sheffield over a Christmas run. Oh my and the, God, there were a load of that. Like, yeah, I know. Got worse. <laughs> right, but the, the crowd was thirty-five people who worked at a construction company, oh. right, and they were all t- t- horrible horrible afternoon gig and and they were heckling and just and I think Phil Ellis started talking in detail about how he wanted one of them to die at work but in an accident that was his fault <laughs> so that he didn't get any compensation and just all of his friends and family had to be going past and watching him and me and Rich Wilson were watching Phil Ellis going he fucking hell he means that but, but they were dying yeah, laughing yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> 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 have you ever had it um because I've seen it with partic- not not particularly your kind of style, but certainly dead panacks where it's not going well, and it's like, how do you get out of that? You can't because to, you're in it, aren't you? You're know what I mean? it. Have yeah. you had that try? Because you so um, like no, I, not for a long time. The last time I think I really felt that I remember it vividly. I think it was about 2017, and I was doing a Rob Riley gig. <laughs> Um, Dismissive and I, middle. It was the, the cricket club. 
Do you know the cricket club one? Chalton Cricket Club or something? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was on yeah. first and the, 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 I hadn't been doing the character that long and I came on and I just got nothing for 20 minutes. Like, it was like a proper death and it was yeah. the first one I'd had for a long time. Just, and there was nothing I could do. Like, they decided early on they didn't like me and there was no way out of it. Yeah. There was no sort of, like, like now I'd, I'd, I'd instantly play with the vibe of the room or pick up on something or yeah. I would find a way through it. But but at this point, for some reason, I don't know if you found this, it's just suddenly you, you're just boxed in and you just, you've oh, got you can, no you, way you, to you, yeah, yeah. by your persona yeah. somewhat. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I, I can freewheel in character, obviously. It's like I can, I can sort of, Improvise all day, but something about this particular room, like, I still remember it. it was when you play a room of say 500 people, there will be 50, 60 that just don't like your comedy. So, of course. So, so, just by bad luck, that room was just probably yeah. a, a collection of people that just didn't like that just, kind of just, stuff. Just, just immediately. It's all their fault, yeah. not ours. <laughs> Fuck yous. <laughs> yeah, just immediately, just all turned off. But it's, it's rare, though. Like, yeah, oh, that's a, fucking, yeah, that's a one in a million. That, like, but, yeah, fuck. but yeah, but as you said there, though, with more experience and, and more comfortable on stage, and obviously that was 2017, and you only yeah. just started that character. Now, because you, you've you gigged that many times, you just pick up on something and change mm. the whole but, dynamic. Um, you know, yeah, because I mean, cool. it's a character, and the gigs can be so annoying. And if I'm I'm angry on stage anyway, yeah. I could, that's easy for me to get angry with the yeah, audience. Yeah. If you're in character, there's got to be part of Milo where he goes, well, you just shut the fuck up for a minute. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. But here's the thing. Is, is yeah. like, <laughs> I, I, I can do that as Troy. And what's nice is as me, right? If I sort of get whatever, it's a bit alpha, but if, if I'm doing it as Troy, I can kind of get annoyed and it's a bit comic in that yeah, sort of yeah, Phil yeah, yeah, way, even though I am actually annoyed. Oh, yeah, you can but, still, but I can yeah. still filter that emotion through. But I guess it's different because it's not like I'm doing a character piece and this is going to sound wanky, but it's like I sort of try and actually in inhabit the persona completely so I could have, yeah. do, you know, free will or, or go off of anything, you know. But, and, and I don't know how I'm able to do that and I don't really necessarily think I'm a good actor necessarily, but I can inhabit an entire different persona. I think comic, Must be some strain of mental illness. I, I, I think, I think, I think, Let's get it honest to God. I like, absolutely think comics make better actors than they, actors. Absolutely. I, I think agree. actors take themselves way, way too, too serious. serious. Yeah, yeah. 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 Whereas comics see it as fun and yeah. that fun and lucidity yeah, yeah. comes yeah. across yeah. on camera. Whereas mm. real actors are fucking all shite. <laughs> So is shy, this like. is this a direction you want to go in? Are you sort of like winking I, at Ken I, I, Your twerk of Hollywood there. Yeah, yeah, I, so I, is this where you... you I have, is this the next step? I have, <laughs> on the Hutchinson <laughs> right? Is this on the so vision everyone, board? It's, it's been well well documented. I have fantasy showers yeah, yeah. where I act out my career uh -huh. and stuff like that and mythical careers. So when I got Kevin Bridges, I said to my girlfriend, I went, look, I'm going to have to have a couple of showers. So then yeah, I act yeah. out being on Jonathan Ross, yeah, yeah. smashing Jonathan Ross. And then I get a part in like a, 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 an indie British film where I'm just like a little role character and I win a BAFTA for that. And then I win an Oscar in that, do you know what I mean? Mm. And then in, in the Oscar speech, I'm like, Daniel Day-Lewis is a fraud, lad. <laughs> <laughs> you go Daniel Day-Lewis? Lad, he's a fraud. Come on. Lad, he spends all day being Abraham Lincoln. That's cheating, lad. <laughs> Turn up, read your lines and it your marks, you prick. I ate the left-footed cunt. If I if I could pull Fucking you back hell. to if I could, I wasn't expecting that when I woke up today. If I could pull you back to fantasy showers, yeah, right. So it seems like hippie bullshit with manifestation, but actually, oh, all you're doing, visualization, mate, yeah. it's a sat nav for your subconscious. I, all of that subconscious, you're going, it's going. Oh, all right then, like. You write down what you want. I, I tell you, my, I, I do it as well. I started doing it. You write down what you want and you put it in a beginning of your notebook and you make it, you know, achievable, believable. But you look at it every day and all the parts of your brain you're unaware of will actually, beyond your awareness, make you make the decisions to actually enable Has some of these. Has anyone got a pen? No, but it's true, right? <laughs> I want to like, be skinny. <laughs> no, <just> please <laughs> manifest it. <laughs> yeah. Pitch, pitch yourself with a six pack and Calvin's fucking I, uh, I signed that when I started. But you know out. what I'm saying? You must but have. But I well, yeah, because look like the likes of McGregor and stuff like that. Yeah. All, all the big ones have yeah. said it, hasn't he? Yeah. Like, he? He was. If you look at his journey, like the McGregor's, he, his early footage of him saying, I want to do this, I want to do that, he does it. So mm -hmm. it's obviously true. Yeah. You believe it that much. Yeah, you but, do it, aren't you? yeah but for every McGregor, there's 999 other beacons. <laughs> yeah, Tony Carroll's. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but the thing is, is the difference is I think you've got to believe it. Like I think Adam Rowe again, he's somebody who's sort of very yeah, early yeah, yeah. in his mind. He said, "I'm going to do this," yeah. and he believed. He works it. hard, but he he he, he, he believed. Dare Kate of comedy, I call him. Huh? <laughs> Dare Kate of comedy. I don't know enough about football to appreciate. It's hard work, uh, very yeah, hard yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah, but, sort of but, but I think no er, early doors, he told himself and believed yeah. that he was going to sort of hit the, 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 the top. And it's there's so much in that. I've never seen know. anyone work as hard like him. Like he fucking yeah, lives I, yeah. and breathes. And he's, he's fucking a killer. Mm. Like, you know, and yeah. he's great. And he, yeah, he, yeah. He, he gave everyone a smack up the ass when he first started coming through. Yeah, yeah. Because nobody had that sort that of slightly ethic. American yeah. Yeah, yeah. fucking work here ethic. I yeah, am yeah, yeah, yeah. fuckers thing. And I think a lot of people were initially resentful. Yeah. And then they saw how it was working. Yeah. And they Force, were like, yeah. oh shit, Jump. I need it's a bit. to fucking yeah. step up. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do it via showers. And it's not even career-wise sometimes. I sometimes do it in a different world <laughs> where sometimes maybe I am. Does this world have the same rules as our world? It's just No, I'm, I'm sometimes maybe I, I am the nerdy girl who gets fucked by the jock. <laughs> 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 do you know what I mean? Genuinely. I generally sometimes pretend I'm a girl. So you in put the yourself in an entirely different. I, som I sometimes. How much a, backstory do I you? Sort sometimes of? a 15 year old girl. Wow! Wow! Oh. Jamie, come on. <laughs> no, hang on. He's the victim. I, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. He's the 15 year old. I'm the. Know, I'm sorry. I'm as long as you keep your hands off him, Listen, you're fine. I'm not touching anyone. <laughs> He's. I'm the 15 year old girl. Yeah. I'm new into the school. It's in America. It's in America. Yeah. It's in America. I'm new to. I'm new. I'm new to the school. I'm new. What do you look like? I'm. I'm. I am I'm, I'm plain looking. Right. But a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury with a little fucking touch up I'm Tony and Guy. I'm are you are you are you kind of like rolling, yeah. plain looking, but oh Sex. shit, come the prom, come the everyone's prom. like, yeah, yeah. who's no, not shit? everyone. No, not everyone. Not everyone. I'm 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 shy looking, I'm, I'm pale, yeah. I'm, I've got strict parents and stuff. Um and, and I'm, I come in late to class and everyone's like, oh, this, this nerd and stuff. And I get paired with the jock captain of the football team and I'm for a project. Yeah. And then it turns out he really likes me, but he can't ask me out because it's... You know, has he got a... Has he got he a, asked suicide. Oh, yeah, because it's, yeah. it's political. But has suicide. he got a girlfriend as well? He's, not got, he's not got a girlfriend. He can have the piece. He's he got our manager, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, he, he, always, he always goes to make out creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his flatbed truck and his football buddies. And he's like, I know he's more than this jock. Yeah, yeah. I know he's got philosophical points. I know he's he's got uh, intelligence. He's got depth to him. He can't show it in front of his bogan mates because he's, he's the alpha of this group. And he feels kind of almost guilty that he's the alpha because he went, I'm better than these, but these look up to me. I don't want to be the bottom of another ladder. I don't want to be bottom of the intellectuals. I'd rather be top of the chimpanzees. Yeah. And he's, and then I sense the intelligence in him and he senses the popularity in me. And we have this little middle of a Venn diagram where mm. I do want to be more popular, even though I resent it. And he wants to be more intelligent and he, he, he kind of resents it, but we, we give each other the confidence to come into the middle of the Venn diagram, come into the middle of the Venn diagram. Then he fucks me. <laughs> That's a long fucking shower, that. <laughs> Do you know, you were joking. But there wasn't a second I didn't believe you've actually played this I, whole thing I out I swear in your to God, I play out damsel yeah, in distress yeah, getting, getting, get getting get saved. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I can I, I, I've, I've played the saver as well. Yeah. But I love being this timid girl and, and getting hugged. And no, I, I, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, I get it, man. I get I it. Like you it. just, it's it's like a, an escape, isn't it? You just the sort of the relaxation and, and it's the white noise of the shower against you. Yeah. And then the next day I'll have a shower and I'll just imagine winning the darts. Yeah. Yeah. It's just magical. Fine. And are you you this time or are you her again? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, he's Phil Taylor. Right. Yeah. Oh, Mike, a 16 year old and a play Phil Taylor in the final. And you just want to be young again, don't you? I just want to be saved. From what? Saved from what? I don't know. My demons. Yeah, yeah. Saved from your demons. Your fantastic career and your yeah. loving fiance. Well, that, well that's what Your was... financial security. Yeah. Like, oh, well, get me out of this hellish situation. Well, I said that to you, didn't I? I said, yeah. I said before the record, 
I was, I'm achieving it. I've got a salt tour. I've got a now nice swimming girl, beautiful girlfriend. Everything is at unbelievable mm. on, on paper. I won five grand yesterday gambling. I won five grand yesterday, I felt nothing. I, I got my salt tour, I felt nothing. I felt, and, and then I started to feel guilty that I didn't feel happy. Mm. But then when you supported, I, it's, it's not enough. When you supported Kevin Bridges last week, you did feel something. I was buzzing when I got the news, so I shit the carpet. Yeah. But then, on the day, I was like, oh, another gig, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but mate, you're you, feeling you, guilty. Yeah, you, you, but you need to start appreciating these things and celebrating them with the close ones. I know, well, maybe I just it's, Do you know what it is, I right? You're exactly them. right. It's yeah. gratitude. Gratitude. Yeah. Basically, um, I, I started doing this thing <coughs> where, and it's, it's a bit wanky, but yeah. I started doing this thing where every day I'll be in the car or I'll be somewhere where people can't hear me and sometimes where they can. And I'll just list out loud all the things I'm grateful for. Yeah, yeah. And what it does, again, it's, it's putting your energy into things that you like and you're happy about. And, and there's something about... It's not, you know, that, that it's almost like whatever it is sort of goes, all right, well, you, you can have more than that. And it's if putting you, out something positive. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. And if, if you do, you sit down and you sort of do a, a gratitude inventory. Yeah, yeah. It's It makes you feel fucking wonderful because yeah. you'd be there miserable and then you list 15 to 20 things that you're grateful for. And it's actually very, very hard to be in a foul mood after that. Well, you know if we go, we go the other way, if one of us are like hungover or can't be asked. <laughs> we, we, we affect not the what? mood. <laughs> we don't yeah. do that. We, we, we do it in negative. So we affect the world's mood. Yeah, we do. Yeah, you could be dead happy, and I'll go. I can't be asked this shit. And he goes, I can't be asked this shit. Yeah. So it is. Yeah. It? Well, no. so every week. What we need to do now is each other. We need to go. I love life. <laughs> That's every week, lad. It is every week. We honestly, oh, I don't. Well. I, I don't know what it is. It's just like I don't know. What do you mean? I just think <coughs> with, with this game so that we funny. do, it's it's very it's very it's very demanding. It's like you it feels like you've got to you have always got to sign. You know, like be. I don't know. I don't know how to put it away. No, like you can't like, win you're doing comedy for a living. You can't. Yeah. Mind. But no, it's it's like he always wants more. I don't know who these people are, but mm. that's what it feels like. It's like. But I, think, it's, I think you get. I think you get burnt out if you can't kind, of, kind of thing. I think it does because when you do like us, we do three records a week. There's, our lives are fucking not that great. So mm. what do you talk about? You know what I mean? It's it's that. It's like. Did you have any sense when you started blowing up uh, like online and stuff, and it really took off? Did you have any sense of is this? I, I, am I deserving of this sort of thing? Did you have any like self doubt? Or... Imposter syndrome. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Did you not? Yeah. Of course you fucking massive, do. Yeah. It's it's um yeah, of course it's like it's really I don't know how you experienced it, but f sort of the thing I, I was saying this before is what what changed with me I think was my attitude because I'd been passed up I, I got on the shortlist for Apollo two years on the bounce right yeah. and I didn't get it both years and I felt myself start to get bitter and then I went no fuck that I'm yeah. not going down the bitter comic route and I did the gratitude thing I look at all this yeah, stuff yeah. I got and, and fuck it if this is all I get in my career great and then that kind of changed my energy. So I wasn't making things with any air of desperation. I was making things with, oh, this would be fun. Or this yeah, would be good. yeah, yeah. And, and it was embarrassing how quickly after that things started to change. It's because the energy I was making the things mindsets, with. Yeah, the yeah, mindset. The yeah. mindset changed. Mindset, yeah, and then yeah. all this shit started happening. And it genuinely felt like I was going into a parallel universe because obviously I've been doing the job for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 you know, but it was the moment where I really genuinely went, do you know what? If this is it, fine. Fuck yeah, it. yeah, this is fine. This is great, and then yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's imposter syndrome. It's everything. The it's like it, reality. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking. I mean, how was it for you? Oh no, yeah. It's uh, the first tour show. I had a panic attack over what elastic bands to get for me posters. Mm -hmm. I was in the pound shop. Yeah, and I went. They're too thick. Th th yeah. they'll rip the poster. I can't, pick, I can't, I can't pick, I can't pick <laughs> an elastic band. <laughs> yeah, so I was on the phone to my girlfriend, pick, pick, pick an elastic band for me. I just went under, lad. Yeah, yeah. I just went so under. Yeah. And then, uh, like, later on into the tour, just fucking, like, I, I, and I think this is a good, I, I've told myself this is a good sign because I don't want to be one of these old jongles comics for want of a better phrase. Do you know whether they do the same 20, uh, well, that's it, 2000. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, I oh, fucking this material again, man. Yeah. And I'm so glad I've got that mindset of, I'd, how can you not get bored of your own stuff? Yeah, yeah. And I think that makes you better because you're like, I'm saying this for another. Absolutely, makes you better. I'm so glad I've got that 
intrinsic mindset of I'm bored of saying it now. And, and yeah, for what you need to remember though with, with the with the tours as well, you, 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 especially you so you've created your own fan base that they like you. So mm. you know it's it's not it's not oh, like it's so easy to play. Yeah, that's they what I mean. It's you know they what they want to, whatever you say really they don't trust what you're doing. You know what I mean? They buy the tickets to see you. You know it's not like yeah. you're going to a comedy club and they're trying to find out they they kind of yeah. I had a rude right awakening because in the middle of my tour I, had a, I, I started some circuit gigs that you know. Oh, that, so that, you <laughs> got used to the soft bed. So, of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I got so used to playing to my yeah. own crowd, and then I did a lovely theatre gig in South Shields, and it's proper, you know, the really nice art centre yeah. type place. And went out, and s- I, my first line of the tour was horrendous, but it just sets the tone. And I said that, oh, this is a killer opener. I went, oh no, it's a killer opener for my crowd. It's not. Yeah. And so I started at 2 0 down. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. that's a fucking Istanbul. <laughs> I, 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 I had the same thing, man. And I think, where was I? I went to do Melbourne Festival and I just did a five. And it was like, I was suddenly aware that despite the fact that I've been touring and doing hours and hours and hours, I was not sharp. I didn't have that club sharpness. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have that, I'm going to get you thing. That club sharpness because, is a mad. Oh, it's yeah, such a yeah. big thing. It's such a, it's a very hard thing to describe. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And I was kind of, I, I had four club gigs this week um, before my tour show, and then it switched. I went, I'm in so club mode. I'm not in the yeah. show mode. Mm. It is two different, totally different things, isn't it? It's you know front mean? foot and back foot. It's yeah. like it's like that energy. Do you know, like you'd be backstage, and especially me when I'd come on and nobody knew who I was, and I'd look bizarre as fuck. Yeah. Is it'd be like right? Everyone who's sort of going like that, right? Fuck you! I'm gonna get you. I'm yeah, gonna turn yeah. you round. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna stare in your eyes until I've got you over. And it's this sense of like fighting a battle and yeah, being yeah, sharp yeah. versus coming out and everyone going, oh, it's that person from Thank that God. thing that I really yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, th- th- and also you'd have found this in the first sort of few seconds. You, you don't start a tour show too quickly because you've got to just come out and let them see you and sort of say hi. Whereas your club mentality is just to come oh, out yeah. and talk about you right <laughs> in the neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, yeah, I don't want to lose that, that that club sharpness either. No, that's why I'm 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 doing I'm doing new stuff, circuit stuff in the middle of my tour yeah. to try and get another hour together because I'm like, I'm worried I've run out of everything I've ever said. But that <laughs> that worry will keep you. Yeah, like, it'll keep me yeah. keep me going. Speaking about club shows, we're all on the club show tonight, baby, aren't we? One yes. of the best. One yes. of the, I, 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 I can't wait for tonight. It's gonna be. <laughs> I don't crazy. think that lineup will could ever be beat. No, to be honest, serious it's lineup. It's a good lineup. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. it's ten. Closes. Yeah, it's fucking. Oh, are we all doing ten minutes? Is it or? Yeah, we don't do ten. I did yeah. twenty-eight last yeah. week. Did you? He, Supposed he to be ten. Went, put your light off. <laughs> <laughs> I got booked for ten. Uh, oh, that was the. It was only, I done the opening night as well. The first yeah. night, and uh, I, I, done, done, I was meant to do ten. And you know, you're just enjoying it. I had them, mate. I oh. had them, and I had one more story to close on. Because the like the laughs and all that, and, and, the, and the in between and your little lines and speaking to people, I was killing it. And I come off and I was like, "Yeah, fucking roof that." Vinci just went seventeen, mate. <laughs> I went fucking hell. Nice. We didn't even say thanks. <laughs> he just went seventeen, mate. I went fucking hell. I, know. I was he having to go with overrunning his venues two years overrun. <laughs> 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 ah, yes. I mean, not Vinci. I mean, uh, uh, Ronnie Cray. <laughs> Ronnie Cray. <laughs> <laughs> we call up. We call up players. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm going to wake up with an SM58 in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say about my venue? Yeah, like? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, quote, that, that, later, yeah. yeah that was sick last week. Uh, cause I, we was arguing who was closing last week, weren't we? Yeah. I got the short straw and I had to close. Like, oh, Rob, Tom, Rob Thomas told me about that. He go. He put all the. He put all the high profile successful people. He goes right. <coughs> fucking argue amongst yourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put you in a separate group. Oh, I want to go home early. All yeah, that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't it come down to you having to buy, miss a train? Or yeah, you had to pay for the taxi. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But he had to follow me as well. I don't know. Doing seventeen. When uh, should have been doing no, no. 10. That was that was the night before. Oh. Sort of. Yeah. It's I already done, any, done fifteen like as well. Following the like, oh. Yeah. Do you get much shit online? Do you get many sort of negative comments and stuff? Or I, do you I, I won a bet yesterday. Mm. So I won five grand yesterday on a bet. Uh, on the race? No. Grand National in the golf. Okay. So I had a hundred pound double and uh, Odds Bible shared it. Like Hang a, on, you had a double with the Grand National winner and, and the, the golf. golf. Fucking yeah. hell. Yeah, yeah. hundred quid double, five grand. And I had 
£250 singles on them each as well. So it was like eight grand up for the weekend. Wow. And the guy shared, the, the Odds Bible shared me fucking thing. This guy DM'd me and he was like, well, have you seen Odds Bible have shared your, uh, shared your bet? Have you seen the comments? I went, nah, what are they? Are they, are they bad? He went, no, everyone's just saying you've got a gambling problem, lad. I went, all right, that's sad. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> because I can't cope with the fucking, the negativity that we get sometimes. Uh, it's yeah, it's rough, like mm. rough. Yeah, I've had a bad wee, like. Oh, you get it well worse. Yeah, I get it well worse. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> well worse. I love the fact you get it. You get fucking ragged everywhere. Yeah. This, oh. is the fair, this is the fair. This is the fair. Be like that half me up though. <laughs> 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 up. Sad <laughs> up. You know when the clip goes on. Do you know yeah. the re- this reason why I said I don't care? Because uh. I obviously do care. Yeah, but we'll, I've got a yeah. fucking persona. I don't care. When we have, have, a, you when we have yeah. a clip on, I'm like, who's doing the punchline here? Because no matter, no matter who it is, the one who's doing the punchline is getting fucking Get ripped to shreds. Right? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get bad. But bad. but then again, you, the, you know, the, the likes on it or the views or you know, it's all positive. <coughs> it's all fucking the, the podcast. Yeah. Is, it's great. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's just people who just like they just want to just like so, want to upset you. You know what I mean? I, I think t- they just want to upset you. I had a tweet. I had a tweet but why there. do they want to upset you? Because they want to get your attention. That's I all had, it is. Yeah. yeah. But that's why you just don't bite. Because yeah. it, it fucks. The, it fucks their head more. I've yeah. learned that. I had a tweet the other day. So I had hundred pound double. I am Maximus to win the national Scottish Sheffler. So when I am Maximus won, I went come on Scotty with praying hands. Ninety nine comments. Go on, lad. Good luck, lad. Yeah. Come on, we're all Scotty, aren't we? One quote tweeting it. It makes me want Max Homer to win even more now. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Um, it rowled me, lad. Did it? I, dad, <laughs> how could you, like, hate someone? Like, I, like, how could you hate us that much? You don't even know us. I, like, it's I, weird. I, I had in my quote tweet, I had to text Fion. I went, lad, I want to fucking kill this guy. I had... I, I I was quote tweeting you know, you and then deleting it. and then deleting do you know what I mean yeah, I was like yeah. does he want to re- I went to the Mourinho thing when he won oh you should have I'll do it now go on <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, was, I was getting so like you fuck it and yeah. then I, was, I went raw all the way through his Twitter first thing it is yeah. first thing I do when someone slags me off is I go on their page and you know where you can search what they've tweeted yeah. I search mental health uh-huh. And oh. then I just quote tweet him. Oh, you're still on about your mental health. I hope yeah. the Samaritans are engaged next time. You'll kill yourself. Come. I um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a. Uh, I don't. I, I. I don't get much. Um, but what that means is when I do get it, I sort of. And what I'll tend to do, I'll have a look at the comment, and then I have a look at the profile. Yeah. Just to see if it's the kind of person whose opinion I should be paying attention to, right? Yeah. And I had one the other day, that sort of calling me a wanker or whatever. And I went on the profile, and it's an artist, right? And I'm looking oh, down. Oh, I've got, I've got oh, one of them. I've the got the best one of them. I got, a, but listen, mm. right? He's an artist. I'm looking down. I'm like, ah, oh, and I messaged him, and I went. Occasionally, I will look at the profiles of people who send me yeah. negative comments, right? And I'm really perturbed by the fact that I'm actually a big fan of your work, right? No. You no see one, that, dude? Ah, oh, no one you've been a fan of has said that, dude. Oh, I mean, I'll fuck it. No, 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 no. This, this, this random guy, I'll show you. This, this is literally happening right now. So, <laughs> this guy's just gone, Oh, you're a wanker, right? I've looked at his page and it looked at his art, and I'm like, Fucking hell, that's really good. Where is it? Here you are. Read, read this. Let. Um, I'm on airplane mode. Hang on. But I literally, I just went, Oh, man, that fucking picture of the cheese is awesome. And he goes, <laughs> He goes, Are you joking? Like, no, I'll let it, read it. No. Anyway, long story short, I'm meeting this guy at a service station so I can buy his art off him fucking on Sunday. What? You fucking doubled down on him there, yeah. haven't you? No, but I don't. It's totally But like, you actually, do you actually... That. I will occasionally look at the profile and the comments. Nice. In the news on Monday, say, artist Excellent. missing. Yeah. <laughs> I occasionally, I occasionally, you missed I, that one, my daddy. Go on, daddy. Local news artist missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is this is I, my alibi. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. occasionally yeah. look at the pro. I'll occasionally look at the profile of negative comments, and I was massively perplexed by the fact that I actually really like your work. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese piece is incredible. Is it for sale? I was joking, and I'm not. <laughs> oh, and I know that you're joking. I'm really not. It's terrific. <laughs> Jumped out the profile grid at me. 
I honestly think that I've painted over it, but if I haven't, then you can have it for free. This isn't my real name. <laughs> 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 ah, damn it. I've got it. I've painted over a lot of them, but it survived. Is it a cheese sandwich? And it's a picture of the painting. Yep, I've got that one. You're welcome to have it. Brackets, if you're not joking. <laughs> I'm absolutely not joking. Where are you based? I'm in Penn, near High Wycombe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and work out when I'm nearby. I'll let you know in advance, but please hold it for me. I'm driving back from Newcastle on Sunday afternoon. I could certainly divert through High Wycombe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I, love, I love this painting. Yeah, it's great. I'm usually around, so any time's okay. The Beaconsfield service station is on the M40, if that's easier. <laughs> and it's close to me. Painting is not actually framed. The frame is done using an app. I could get it framed for you. That sounds perfect, but <laughs> please let me pay for it. Beacons for your services is great. Shall I mess you on Sunday when I have an ETA? It's honestly for free. It's 18 inch by 12 inch. Yeah, please let me know when you have an idea on time, so I'll be there. Do you want it in a box, like in the image? That would be awesome. <laughs> I'll be travelling from Newcastle around 12, 1 o'clock, so be around 5. I'll stick in the site now and get the exact time well in advance on the day, and I'll obviously plug your work on here too. Thanks so much, man. That's perfect. Troy. Oh, I haven't read this bit. Thank you thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you then. You, you're a good guy, and I feel a bit bad. These... These paintings are under a different name because I'm just experimenting with new styles, but as an artist, just getting paintings appreciated means a lot. And that started. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to see Fucking oh, no, no, got you. Yeah. Shut up, dick. <laughs> Shut up, you soft cunt, you big shit. No, like, and that. that <laughs> no. And that started oh, with him calling me a wanker yeah. online. It's amazing. Yeah, but isn't you it? get one. You get one. I get thousands thousand a day. No, I do. Maybe I do. I'm doing sort of wrong. No, I do. I, I don't. You paint I, cheese? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good painting, though. Did you see the. I'm not shite, <laughs> You know what it is with those dogs? That was shit. <laughs> do you think that I cheese really is good? I really liked it. I really liked it. Do you know what I do? Do you know I what it is with those dogs? I've realised. Your donation, sweetheart. We love you. Everyone loves you. We all love you. Oh. I, 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 I met you in 2010. I loved you then. You know what huh? I mean? I bet you in 2010. I, I was dismissive. 2016. He was dismissive. He was dismissive. You. you know me and you've always, always loved yeah. each other. You know yeah. what I mean? Always, you know what I mean? And I've been a fan of yours since that CCTV video footage oh, of you shadow boxing with your hands behind oh, your back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, now, see, that see that one, though? Can we chop it in? Have we got it? Yeah, we'll chop it in, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's that, good. That's a meme. Back to yeah, some lad with like... Yeah. I was, yeah. yeah. And I was yeah. like, you boxed when you were a kid, for sure. Oh, what did you do? Yeah. Yeah. Did you, yeah. What do you do? So, I was, it, was in, I was in a, it was in a bar in 54. It was like the daytime shift. And we oh, were bored. Yeah. It was about 2000, 2012, yeah, 2021. Oh, right. So, like, three, four years ago. <laughs> and uh, it's like a day shift, and one of the glass collectors in there. But, but the lad who does the maintenance, he had, like, his gym stuff in his bag, like, boxing gloves and pads and stuff. So, uh, we put a... Boxing gloves on. Me and his classy, and then we were just like boxing. But he's like skinny, like fast lad, wasn't he? And I'm a big lad, and he just couldn't land the punch, and I'm just mm. ducking and weaving. Put my hands behind my back, he swings over, and I'm just like, oh, God, <laughs> lad, so good. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, have a look, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Was he was impressed. I was impressed. And uh, yeah, but as I say, we, we, with, with us, start with <coughs> us, because we, we're like on the podcast with two mates, and we're like, we say controversial stuff, like, and that's just to get each other going, on, to make each other laugh. Right. And then right, you forget right. it goes online, and then. No, I said I said Madonna's better than the Beatles, right? Hmm. And I'm from Liverpool, so you can imagine the hate it got, right? Just stuff like that. But yeah. it's it just it's just you say stuff, and it's not all fucking like what you t- truly believe. It's just for the fucking comedy. Yeah, elements. but you do truly believe. And it. truly <laughs> believe. Madonna's better than the Beatles. That's just that one, right? Clip that again. No, fuck off, don't. <laughs> the worst abuse I've had is I got interviewed by Sky Sports in character, yeah. and they said, "Who do you like for the Golden Boot?" And I said, "Calvin Phillips," right? And they put that on Twitter. <laughs> Because I was like, <laughs> Calvin Phillips, he's the, he's the nicest footballer, he's yeah. the golden boot for congeniality. I think man's an absolute saint, Calvin Phillips. All <laughs> and I practically got 
death threats. It was insane. Yeah, yeah. Oh, football's a like, no-go. Oh that's what we try and stay away from that. But yeah. even like on Twitter and stuff, though, that whole thing. You see, if your clips go onto Twitter, people just like going against the grain. So if mm. the clips do really well on that, and, that's fu- and it is funny. We are we're fucking hilarious. We believe in ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on a quote Twitter and go, anyone else don't find these two fat cunts not funny. And you're just like... <laughs> Yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, ourselves. Yeah, but do you know what? I tell you what I don't like. Right, I don't mind if someone says I don't like this. I don't find this funny. The thing that yeah. really fucks me off is when they go, "This isn't, isn't funny." Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You, you, it fucking. What does makes my, you the barometer? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Funny. exactly. You know I mean? So arrogant. But there's so many people who like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so it doesn't get me to like that. It's just when you attack you. Well, do you know what? I'll tell you. I'll be. I'll be honestly truthful here. I'll be honest. What really hurts me is where the people I love see it and then tell me. Oh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, my dad rang me a few weeks ago and said, Oh, son, I've been here <laughs> up all night fucking uh, arguing with them trolls of yours on YouTube. And it broke yeah. my heart. I'm thinking, Dad, go dad, to bed. Go to bed, lad. <laughs> <laughs> go to bed, dad. Yeah, go to bed, dad. I think I'm asked. <laughs> Uh, oh, did, yeah. did you go and have a look at his no, argument? I can't look at them. I can't <coughs> look at one. I don't no, watch I, any I, of these back ever. I, I just can't. There's I no can't, point. I don't, we don't watch. I don't watch any clips back. Don't watch any anything back. I don't. And, and even like collab with them, it, you get the notifications. I can't even switch them off. Yeah. So it's. it's just I came with a flood of support when I first started going viral. It came with so much positivity. Yeah. It's when the negative hit it hit me like a train. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because oh. you let the nice stuff blow you up. Yeah, so the yeah, negative yeah, yeah. stuff. And the neg- the negative stuff's like, yeah, fuck that like one guy out of a hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. As I say, it's, it, it, if, if, if it was all bad, we'd obviously be doing something wrong. We're not stupid, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's it's the few when you start coming about your peer and so all that. It's like, don't, like don't you don't you think you know? Yeah, yeah. I get out of breath time with you, lads. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm fat. Yeah. Stop telling me. Yeah. I didn't do it with that betting You're not going to change me, lads. I put that, I put that betting slip up, uh, like £100 double, won yeah. four and a half grand. It was two favourites. You do have a gambling problem then. Yeah, yeah, hmm. no, but I have a gambling solution, win. <laughs> <laughs> do you tell people about your losses? Because yeah, my yeah. dad's a gambling addict and the fucking most boring thing is is he skirts over the losses. Oh, I'm like, dad, this is bullshit. Them. If you're going to talk about the wins, you've got to talk about the oh, losses. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean... No, you do talk about the losses, though. Yeah, good. Uh, you tell me, like. Yeah, I'm patient. <laughs> Behind a paywall, man. Yeah, yeah. Can't watch. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I did me bollocks at Charlton, man. And, well, I said to know at Charlton, man, I was doing me bollocks until I got yeah. a 33 one win and got two grand yeah, back. Yeah. But, yeah, I talk openly about doing me bollocks because yeah. that's kind of the fun and I, I had hundred pound double and i know it sounds a lot hundred pound double on a 43 to one shot but it's two favorites yeah, do you know yeah. what i mean <laughs> what did the favorite win the national yeah wow. seven to one wasn't it? and uh i had i co- i had a comment fake <laughs> Fit. What do you think what it's you fake? Oh, what do you mean? Oh. Dude, I get that. I get I get people coming in and saying, oh, this is all staged. This is all like, like somebody came in after after a video. I was just walking around and someone made a comment like, oh, I've got a friend who works for the production team on this video and it's all set up and I'm reading it. Like yeah, going, yeah. what kind of mind? Why would you, do you, like, think, you think we've got that? time to do that? I reckon <laughs> they've had a fantasy shower. Oh. <laughs> World. Do you know what we had, lad? We have live shows every yeah. week. It's like sick. It's in this room, so it's like sixty capacity. It's boss like, beautiful, really. intimate. You watch us record, and the clips go up where we take the piss out of the front row a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Uh, comment. Clearly, these are plants. Uh, and That's great. Isn't it? The week before, was it this episode or week before Kieran Bartlett? Wait, well, what, what? What? I don't. I can't remember what order we in. What's what was the one where we just uh, it was just us three? Oh, it was the two weeks before that. So was it before Bartlett? So we've done Bartley, Hattie, and then it was that that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had one where we did an episode where it was just us three because we couldn't be arse booking a guest. <laughs> and they think we're spending money on plants yeah. for a live show. <laughs> do, you know, do you know, it's that arrogance again, though, because they're going, I don't find this funny. Yeah. Those people laughing, that's not, I'm not wrong. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. yeah, yeah. Those yeah, people yeah. are professionally employed because yeah. I can't be in the wrong, it's so they good. have to be plants. <laughs> the mindset 
Think about that person's yeah. life, how little responsibility exactly. they'll actually that's take what, that's for what anything they do that's wrong. What, you know? When you identify that, you know, these, these trolls or these people saying it, that's yeah. what keeps you going. It's like, you must be, you must be sad, mate, to just like, to be commenting. Well, oh, I forgot, you to tell you about my, forgot to tell you about my one, didn't I? The oh, oh, this is oh, unbelievable. This is great. This, this is one of the, this so, is the best ever. So this. it was when we were like, first started and I was, and I was, I was like biting a bit, you know what I mean? I, I spent a lot of time like, because you know, if, if someone said to me in the streets, you know, I'm that kind of guy who, like, I, 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 I just glass you, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you say these things to me in the face, I, I would. I'm not saying I'm a big hard lad, I'm not. But, like, you, you don't disrespect me in my face. You'd rather do something than walk away of with course, a powerless yeah. I'd rather, get, I'd, I'd rather yeah. get knocked out and stab me you know what I mean? That's the kind yeah. of guy I am. That's the that's my I six me. months of playing it over in your head what you should have done. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah. But online, obviously, you can't, and I was fighting back. And this, uh, and it, uh, it was when I just started emceeing for the club, yeah, for Hot Water. And uh, as you know, anyone who emcees apart from Paul Smith is mm. is just a shit Paul Smith, yeah? Yeah. So one of the clips goes up. It wasn't the best anyway, but Hot Water clip, everything, but it's another story. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, it wasn't one of my best, but it was still, still all right. Yeah, enough, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I'm not one to go out, it was fucking bottom, but it was all just all right. Yeah. And uh, some lads commented, shit fat Paul Smith, yeah? <laughs> so I went, all right, uh, thanks. Uh, so I've clicked on his profile. The profile's open, <laughs> and uh, he, you can see it. You see in his profile picture, he's a singer, you know, like uh, with a suit on a singer. So before I clicked on his like profile and the research, and you know, I just commented back. So you see in his picture, you know, he was singing the suit on. I put shit Michael Bublé, yeah, right. So <laughs> I left it, and then I was like, nah, it's done me head, isn't it? So, <laughs> so. I got his name and I typed it on YouTube and I swear to God, the first video was him singing Home by Michael Bublé. Oh. And I was like, yes! So a screen recorded him singing. Another summer day I has come and gone away. Screen, screen recorded the probably story, tagged him and said, shit, Michael Bublé. Oh. <laughs> ruined them. I reckon. <laughs> we, them. I, we need to book him for the Christmas show, lad. Well, get him back to sing. Yeah, so I'm, what now, lad? And everyone boo him. Get him back. If, he, if we give him five ton, he'll do it. He will, won't he? Yeah. If you're watching this, because uh, he won't be on it, he eats us. We'll clip it and send it him. Okay. Well, could you not sort of book him for the venue? Yeah, yeah they're battered him. him. Yeah, just book no, him. No, I mean, surely oh. you're over it now. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I get daily texts on. Uh, I'm only messing with <laughs> I'm, I'm not asked. Don't give a fuck. You don't care what people think. I can't believe I opened up saying I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> I had one on YouTube. We had one on YouTube. I clicked on his profile. It's Jamie. He's fucking saying the same story. So fucking clicked on his. Mm. I had one video on YouTube yeah. where he's doing. <coughs> a, he's the chairman of a local golf club, and he's doing the draw. For Fuck like, off. For who plays who? Fuck off. And I said this draw shit. <laughs> 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 this draw shit. <laughs> but it's from like four years ago. Number four, <laughs> Johnny Evans. <laughs> That's what it's like. And I went, shit, shit this is all fake. Did he fake. come? <laughs> <laughs> That's class, that. Did he About come? like 200 views. 200 views from four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> shit, <it's wrong. laughs> Did he say anything? No. Did he I mean, it's just back. a dormant oh, lad. If I would, if you would have seen that, you would have been like, oh, he got me there, lad. <laughs> you would have got me there. Oh. Oh. So good. Right, should we call that a podcast? Yes, we need to go fantastic. In. Thank you very much for coming oh, on, mate. Well, thank you so much, mate. Oh, uh, where, can, where can people find you, mate? Um, just Troy Hawk on anything. Like, yeah, touring, Troy, uh, touring and, all over the guy. And I said it earlier, I, it's unbelievable. Like, the, the greet meet and greet video is obviously amazing, but it doesn't do it justice live, mate. Is it? It's fucking oh, really good, mate. Oh, fire. Thank you. Go and watch it. Um, we're on Patreon, so you get early access to episodes like this. You also get a bonus episode each week and a live show uh, every week as well. Uh, that's just three pound a month. So patreoncom slash um, Hot Water's Green Room. Or hot water so many kind of friends. Uh, my monthly show, a Hot Water Comedy, my residency uh, comes down. It's the next one's the 30th of April if this is an out. Uh, but, but it's the end of every month anyway. So come down. Special guests revealed on the night. Uh, go get your tickets on hotwatercomedy.co.uk. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Nice. Bye guys.
Cheers, mate. Spice that. Nice yeah. That's great. Nice shot. Nice shot. That went quick. As if one day you'll wake up and find that you're missing me. And your heart starts to wonder where on this earth I could be. Thinking maybe you'll come back into the place that we'll meet. And you'll see me waiting for you on the corner of the street. Because what? I'm not moving. I'm not moving, yeah. And I'm not moving. You could definitely be a lead singer of a band.